Brazil is uh, sensory inspiration with tropical weather, hearty food, and music-soaked culture. This continent-sized country is vastly underappreciated, with enthralling tropical islands, deserts, waterfalls, animals, and national parks. I could really go on and on. Brazil is the fifth largest country in the world and the largest in South America, occupying about half the continent. For visitors, Brazil is a tropical paradise as well as an interesting cultural destination with something for basically everybody. From lovely beach vacations and rainforest expeditions to world-class arts, museums, and the pulsing rhythms of Rio's Carnival, Brazil's uh, indeed a beauty to behold. And because we're committed to bringing you the most beautiful destinations around the world, today we're going to be discussing the 10 best tourist attractions in Brazil. So sit back and relax while we take you on this awesome adventure that is sure to mesmerize you. Or not, I guess I can't make any guarantees. <laughs> Anyways, Travel Goals brings you the best in travel destinations, travel tips, and accommodations around the world. Before we dive in, please subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos like this. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Number 10. Rio de Janeiro's Cristo Redentor and Corcovado The giant Art Deco statue of Christ, dubbed Cristo Redentor, Christ the Redeemer, gazes at Rio de Janeiro at the bay from the summit of Corcovado and stretches 28 meters. It stands at a height of 709 meters in Tejuca National Park. A 3.5 kilometer rack railway climbs to the top, where a large plaza surrounds the statue. In 1931, Paul Landowski, a Polish-French sculptor, and Aitor da Silva Costa, a Brazilian engineer, both finished the 30-meter statue, which was made of reinforced concrete and soapstone. A chapel is located at its 8-meter base, which is perfect for weddings. Pass through Tehuca National Park, a massive forest that protects springs, waterfalls, and a great variety of tropical birds, butterflies, and flora, are all accessible from the railway's midpoint station. Number 9. Falls of Iguacu The Iguacu River, which flows through Brazil, Paraguay, Argentina, flows majestically in a semicircle of 247 waterfalls into the abyss below. The river is restricted to one quarter of its normal width just above the falls and intensifies the force of the water. Some of the falls are about 100 meters high, and they span such a huge area that uh, it's impossible to see all of them at the same time. But the Brazilian viewpoint provides the best picture, I'd say. Catwalks and a tower provides diverse views, and one bridge leads to the Garganta do Diabo, the Devil's Throat, the largest of the waterfalls. Cross to the Argentine side for a better glance at the falls from catwalks that stretch deeper into the heart of the falls. The falls were declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the mid-1980s. It is home to over 1,000 species of birds and mammals, including deer, otters, ocelots, and capybaras, and subtropical rainforests. Number 8. Rio de Janeiro's Copacabana The most prominent part of downtown Rio is Our Lady of Copacabana Avenue, which is surrounded on one side by 4 kilometers of breaking waves and white sand beach. A large walkway separates the beach from the buildings and traffic, with a black and white mosaic set in a wave-like pattern. And the beach isn't just there for display. In nice weather, it's a popular playground with sunbathers, swimmers, and kids constructing sandcastles. On the streets here, you'll find restaurants and high-end shops and cafes and gorgeous historic structures dating back to the period when Rio was Brazil's capital. The famous Copacabana Palace is a national monument. You can easily run into the royalty and many movie stars here. Number 7. Rio de Janeiro Carnival Only a few performances have the color, the sound, the movement, the enthusiasm of Rio's pre Carnival. And make no mistake, this isn't just another noisy street celebration. It's a carefully orchestrated showcase in which viewers can witness parades of competing samba dancers from a specially erected stadium designed by Brazil's most famous architect, Oscar Niemeyer. This long set of grandstand boxes, known as the San Prodromo, provide ringside seats to a 700-meter parade path where dancers and musicians from competing samba schools strut their stuff in a dazzling explosion of vivid costumes. Carnivals are held in Salvador, Bahia, Recife, and other less populated Brazilian cities. 
You can go to these cities to enjoy the carnival in full essence without the horrendous crowds of Rio de Janeiro. Number 6. Ipanema Beyond Copacabana's beaches, the gorgeous white sands mix with Ipanema's equally famous beaches. The same wave design that separates the sand from the line of hotels, restaurants, cafes, art galleries, and theaters that make this popular social zone a popular social zone all year round, they continue here. The beaches of Leblon are further ahead, past the Jardim de Ala Canal, which drains the Lagua Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon. These beaches are very popular with families, since there are fewer visitors and more residents. The Feira de Artesanato de Ipanema, the Ipanema Handicraft Fair, which is alive with music, art, handcrafts, and street food, is especially packed on this Sunday. Be cautious where you swim, though, at Ipanema Island in Leblon, because the waves can be powerful and unpredictable. Avoid swimming in areas where there aren't any other people. If you want to go surfing, go to the beach between Copacabana and Ipanema. Number 5. Rainforests of the Amazon With an area of 6.7 million kilometers squared, the Amazon is the largest surviving jungle in the world. It spreads over 9 countries. 60% of the Amazon area is in Brazil. The dark Rio Negro waters meet the light muddy waters of the Rio Solimes, around 20 kilometers southeast of Manaus, flowing side by side for about 6 kilometers before combining as the Amazon. Boat rides from Manaus take you to the Encontro das Aguas, or water meeting point. Other boat journeys take you into the heart of the rainforests and the network of rivers, canals, and lakes. The islands of Analviljanas, located in the Rio Negro, are an archipelago of streams, lakes, and flooded woods that deliver a complete sight of the Amazonian ecology. A boat tour here will allow you to witness monkeys and sloths, parrots, toucans, caimans, turtles, and all kinds of other animals. The Janawari Ecological Park, which is 688 hectares of land, also near Manaus, has a diversity of ecosystems that can be explored by boat along its small canals. Huge Amazonian water lilies cover an entire lake. While in Manaus, don't miss the famed Tetro Amazonas, an Italian Renaissance-style opera theater built to establish Manaus as South America's cultural capital. Number 4. Modernist Architecture in Brasilia Brasilia, Brazil's new capital, was built out of the wilderness in less than three years to replace Rio de Janeiro as the country's capital in 1960. Lucio Costa and Oscar Niemeyer's ambitious proposal became a showcase of city planning and avant-garde architecture and it's still one of the world's few cities that represents a full plan and a single architectural concept today. The entire governmental section is made up of an important architectural highlight, which is the city's principal tourist attractions. Rather than the usual mix of residential and business districts, the most well-known structure in the city is the circular Cathedral Metropolitana Nossa Senhora Aparecida, which features curved concrete columns that support a glass roof. Other attractions in Brasilia are Raca dos Tras Poderes, Congreso Nacional, Supremo Tribunal Federal, Palacio dos Arcos, known as the Palacio Itamaraty, Monumento JK, President Kubitschek Memorial, Lago do Paranoa, Ponte Cusquelino Kubitschek, and Ponteo Lago Sud. Santuario Don Bosco, Sanctuary of Don Bosco. Number 3. Lenqua Maranhenses National Park. Lenqua Maranhenses is a national park that can be found in the north of Brazil, near the city of Sao Luis. You can book a jeep tour to Lenqua Maranhenses from the town of Sao Luis. Lenqua Maranhenses consists of a dune area that lies on the coast, and from there, the view extends 40 kilometers deep inland. With an area of more than 1,500 kilometers squared, Lenqua Maranhenses is the only desert in Brazil and therefore it's very special. Yet, this isn't the only thing that makes the area so unique. Thanks to the large amount of precipitation that falls in the area, several lagoons have been created between the many sand dunes. These blue or green colored lagoons provide a special view and you can swim in the water. Don't forget to sandboard when you're at this national park. 
You can find the boarders everywhere from whom you can borrow their boards to slide down a dune. Number two, beaches of Pernambuco. Puerto de Galinhas is commonly recognized as Brazil's best beach because of its sparkling seas, tall palm, and broad stretches of silver land. That's a lot for a country with more than 7,000 kilometers of Atlantic coast, much of it being sandy beaches. The seaside town is laid back and colorful and the perfect mix of old-fashioned beach fun and sophisticated stores. Rather than soaring in high-rise towers, its hotels and resorts are built close to the ground. Jangadas, or beautiful sailboats, will transport you to rooftop pools where bright tropical fish dance around your feet in ankle-deep waters. You might also take a boat to a lagoon where small seahorses swim, scuba dive to see stunning coral reefs or shipwrecks, kayak in the lagoons and estuary, or buy a creative kite to fly in the constant breeze from a beach kiosk. Surfers use the nearby Maracaipe Beach. Puerto de Galinas is only one of Pernambuco's 187-kilometer coastline stunning beaches. Closer to Recife, the 17th century Olinda UNESCO World Heritage Site passes over a popular beach. Praia de Boa Viagem, Jose de Coroa Grande, and the Carne de Varca are the main beaches in Recife. Number 1. Sao Paulo Sao Paulo is a vibrant city that has uh, a little sum for everybody. It's the financial center of Brazil, so it's got plenty of exciting high-energy business districts. However, it's also got a ton of culture and arts to enjoy, which include the Sao Paulo Museum of Art. This museum has some of Brazil's most impressive collections of modern art, including works by Picasso and Pi, Candido Portinari and Garcia do Armal, among others. Uh, surely a spectacular place to see. Museum of Football, Museo de Futebol, located in Praca Charles Miller. Via Olimpia. This is a museum dedicated to the history of Brazilian football. The most impressive part of it, though, is the hall containing hundreds of trophies from every great team in Brazil's history. Allianz Parque. This 41,000 seating capacity stadium is the largest stadium in Brazil and the home of both Palmeiras and the Corinthians, two of the most popular football clubs in Brazil. Se Catedral. Catedral da Se. This cathedral, located in the heart of downtown Sao Paulo, and considered one of the best examples of neo-Gothic architecture in all of Brazil, is a must-see for anybody visiting the city. Ibirapuera Park Ibirapuera Park is one of the largest urban areas in the world, covering an area of 1,941 hectares. It features various monuments, fountains, and art pieces by renowned Brazilian sculptors such as Candido Portinari and Oswaldo Gueldi. Do not miss Batman's Alley, which is an open-air gallery of street art by local and international artists for a different style of art. It's located in the Bohemian Via Madayana area, which also houses art galleries featuring works by well-known and emerging Brazilian artists and crafters. So, what are your thoughts on these 10 best tourist attractions in Brazil? Do share them in the comment section below. Also, if you've got any topics you'd like us to cover, just let us know in the comment section down below as well. We would, really, we would really love to hear from you. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos like this, and we will see you in the next one. Later!